fair warning, this is going to be one of the slow ones again. But don't unsubscribe just yet, there are plenty of boat projects still to be done on Oish. We left West Coco in the morning to sail the remaining 4 nautical miles to Holland Skies. We had a bit of wind, but unfortunately it didn't exactly match the swell, so as soon as we left protection of the island and its reefs we were in for a ride. It got better when we got closer to Hollandus, where the keys would again offer protection from the outside swell. With the swell gone and the sails not flopping anymore, we were moving along nicely, so we decided to head a bit further and aim for a little more secluded spot. For a second there, we thought we might have caught lunch. But unfortunately, plastic bags are not included in our diet.
We made our way through the maze of reefs where for the first time after many years spent in some blast we actually bounced off a balmy. Lucky for us, neither the reef nor the boat got hurt too much. It might sound weird, but we chose this spot for the main reason that it doesn't have internet range. Don't get me wrong, we like to spend time binge watching YouTube as much as anyone else, but from time to time it's nice to get out of range and reset our dopamine levels a bit. So we spend the afternoon doing absolutely nothing, besides just sitting, relaxing and watching our surroundings, which reminds me of the fisherman story. It went something like this. There was once a vacationing businessman who was sitting by a beach. As he sat, he saw a fisherman rowing a small boat towards the shore, having caught quite a few big fish. The businessman was impressed and asked the fisherman, how long does it take you to catch so many fish? The fisherman replied, oh, just a short while. Then why don't you stay longer at sea and catch even more? The businessman was astonished. This is enough to feed my whole family, the fisherman said. The businessman then asked, so what do you do for the rest of the day? Well, I usually wake up early in the morning, go out to sea and catch a few fish, then go back and play with my kids. In the afternoon, I take a nap with my wife. When evening comes, we join our friends in the village for a drink. We play guitar, sing and dance. The businessman offered a suggestion to the fisherman. I'm a PhD in business management. I could help you become more successful. From now on, you should spend more time at sea and try to catch as many fish as possible. When you have saved enough money, you could buy a bigger boat and catch even more fish. Soon you would be able to afford to buy more boats, set up your own company. Then you can move out of this village to a big city where you can set up HQ to manage your other branches. The fisherman asked, and after that? The businessman laughed heartedly. After that, you can live like a king in your own house and when the time is right, you can go public and float your shares in the stock exchange and you will be rich. The fisherman again asked, and after that? The businessman said, after that, you can finally retire. You can move to a house by the fishing village, wake up early in the morning, catch a few fish, then return home to play with your kids, have a nice afternoon nap with your wife, and when evening comes, you can join your friends for a drink, play the guitar, sing and dance. The fisherman was puzzled. Isn't that exactly what I'm doing now? I don't know how about you, but I think the fisherman is the smarter one in that story. Next day, we decided to check out the island, but first our action cam case needed a bit of maintenance. Believe it or not, but this fix actually kept it watertight. That is, until additional hairline cracks appeared here and there, and we were too afraid to risk our favorite and only mm -hmm. action cam we have. Thank you.
of course, it promptly decided to fog up, so you will just have to believe my word that the island was really nice. We had a nice walk and a coconut. All we needed now was some fish, but more about that next time.